Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Mickey Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, actually, this is a different week. This is different. This is the wild card weekend. So we're going to be giving you all four games. We're going to go all the way down the board from Saturday to Sunday. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's the weekend, yeah. And uh, if you've been watching, you see last week was probably our worst week we as a, a bad, show we bad, collectively. We had a bad week. It's that week 17 voodoo. It just it's you. a tough week. We said it at the beginning of the episode. It's a tough week. It's a tough week. We're going to help you. And we didn't. We did not. But. 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 I think we're seeing the board. We're seeing the board nice for Wild Card Weekend. Well, yeah, that's why I'm dressed like this. I was cold. I was cold last week. I'm a little cold now. I got to heat up a yeah, little bit. That's why I'm wearing black because I put a lot of people, you know, in the funeral home. Dead. Sorry. But we make up for it. Am I starting? I'll start us off. Yeah. First pick of the morning. Buffalo. This is the first game, actually. We can go game by game. Buffalo at Houston. Buffalo's the better team here, right? We all know this, right? 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 Buffalo is the better team here. Plus two and a half. We're going to take that. We're going to take that all the way to the bank because we, we think, well, I think, that the Bills are going to win outright. So... Plus two and a half, this is free money. You don't have any worries. No worries at all. Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia, no worries. Plus two and a half. I have to agree. You know, I'm not just going to bet against you to bet against you. We I are, almost did that. You were saying, you almost did. We, you were saying we, 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 and then you said I. But it is a we thing. Buffalo is the better team. Um, Got to kind of lean towards coaching in the playoffs, and I think the Bills staff is far superior than whatever Bill Sh** O'Brien puts out on that Texan sideline. Bills plus two and a half. Bills money line. Bills over Bill O'Brien. Bills. Bills over Bill O'Brien. Bills, Bills over Bill. Bills over Bill. Bills, 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 over, Bill. Bills over Bill. All right, that's enough. Bills over Bill. The next Saturday game. This one, this is this one hits at home a little bit for me. A little bit for me at home here. We're gonna go. Actually, the game is here. It's the Tennessee Titans at the New England Patriots. And if you've been watching lately, you have seen the Patriots on their normal decline towards the end of the season where everyone goes, oh, the Patriots aren't the Patriots anymore, right? They're not the Patriots. They don't look the same. They're not going to win. Well, guess what? They're not the same. They're not going to win. <laughs> That's a nice quote. So this, this is an outright dog winner. I'm not going to say... Because it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's Titans plus four and a half. I'm not going to say and money line. But you did say they're not going to win. Patriots aren't going to win. So they aren't going to win. But we're going to take the plus four and a half just because I'm going to play it safe on the show. I got to get the win. But plus if you are at home and you're betting, you bet the money line. Just bet the money line. Because I'm betting the money line. In real life, my personal money, the money line. All on the Titans. Why do you think I'm wearing this? What the f*** just came out of your mouth in that sequence? I'm not going to tell you to bet the money on, but bet the money on. Listen. Well, for the show's Listen. sake, I'm going plus four and a half, just in case. But there's no just in case. It's the money line. Switch it, Ike. Switch it. Money line. Let's go. It counts as two. It counts as two if it wins. On the show, you shake my hand. Deal. Money line, Titans. No plus four and a half. It's money line. Counts as two. Let's go. So you, you got, you're going to have five bets rolling this week, huh? That's it. Wow. Well, I'm going to stick with four because the Patriots are going to cover the four and a half. Okay. We're still here. We're si Last week was a wake-up call. A wake-up call. Tennessee's got to come to Foxborough. Bill, Tom, they ain't losing to, to a former teammate, a former player, Mike Vrabel. They're going to stop Derrick Henry's fat ass running all over him. They're going to win the game by six or seven points because you know what? In Foxborough, in the playoffs, who's the Patriots' best friend? Home field. Home field. And a little bit of the officials. Oh. There's gonna be some dicey shit going on in Fox. Where'd you get that? That's good. That. Yeah, not bad, right? Not, yeah, bad. not bad. I'm throwing bills on Bill and the Patriots. Minus four and a half. Until they're dead, they're still alive to me. I mean that some booger analysis, but it makes sense. He's my hero. Let's venture over to the Sunday games. Snacks, by the way. 
I wanted to hand you this before. It's just like a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Show the camera. What does it, it say? It's oh. a wild, wild car, car weekend, baby. Minnesota at New Orleans. The spread is minus eight. Both of these teams, actually not both, New Orleans, New Orleans had to play last week. The Vikings are well rested. And you know what that means? They're done. They're Rust. out. Rust. They're Rust. Kirk Cousins, you want to talk about Rust? I mean, oh, he's a p Exactly. So I'm not putting any of my money on Kirk Cousins to, to cover in a big game. So Drew Brees and the Saints and Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, who is the 101 next year, God. Minus eight, they're gonna do it. I think they're gonna win by probably the eighteen. I, I could see that too. I would never put my hard-earned money on Kirk Cousins in the. And Super they're at Dome. home in the Superdome. And they're at home in the Superdome in a playoff game. Too Kirk easy. Cousins. It's oh, simple. It's simple. You know what? It is what it is. That's why I'm gonna go with the over in that game because I think the Saints might get it on their own. I love that it. offense is humming. They are humming. They feed off that energy in the Superdome. Those crowd is ridiculously nuts. They are going to pound the piss out of Minnesota. I think Minnesota probably scores a few points going away, garbage time, whatever the case is. But we are going to go over 49 and a half, Minnesota, New Orleans. Sean Payton, that son of a bitch runs the score up every chance he gets. Oh, he doesn't every care. chance Taysom he Hill, gets. Drew Brees, Everything. Michael Thomas. They might score on every damn drive. Touchdowns, every, every drive. drive. That Vikings defense is overrated. Love Coach Zimmer. Love him. Overrated defense. They're not going to be ready to play in the Superdome. The Saints are going to put up a billion points. They're going to go over 49 and a half. And, and, I got to tell you something. And? No, no. There's no other bet in this. I do love the Saints minus eight. I'm not going to take it up. However, you totally didn't bring up the revenge game factor. Well, this is the fact that the, this is the Saints year. I understand it's that. not even revenge game. I know there's the whole Minneapolis miracle. I thought that, that for sure that was nah, going to be your call. Not even, nah. No revenge you're a, game this you're week. You're a revenge guy. Not this week. Just business. I like it. Just business. A lot of points. I, what, what are we thinking? 51-6? I was going to say 43 to like 19. Perfect. Hits the over, hits the spread. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Over 49 and a half. Saints Vikings. Lock it the f*** in. All right, let's finish strong here with the last game. One of Snack's favorite teams, the Seattle Seahawks at one of Snack's favorite teams, the Philadelphia Eagles. Which one's my favorite team? <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, you said one of Snack's favorite teams. The, the Philadelphia Eagles. No, but you said the Seahawks first. Well, it's because it's Seattle at Philadelphia. Okay, but... But we're going to take Seattle minus two. Not the Eagles are not one team. of my favorite teams. It's not even f***ing remotely funny. Please don't ever say that on air because people are going to get the wrong idea of who I am as a human being and as a fan. I f hate Philly. Go ahead. The, the Eagles don't belong in the playoffs. No, they That don't. whole division, every team from that division doesn't belong in the playoffs. Eh, I think the Giants had it. Stop it. Mm. Stop it. Seattle's the better team here. We all know if they weren't in the division with the 49ers, they would... They this they should have home field here. The fact that Philadelphia has home field is they should correct that. I don't give. A I mean, the whole nothing thing. we could do about it but bet the Seahawks. Really, that's really it. Just bet the Seahawks minus two. Are you nervous? No. Are you nervous that Philly? No. Philly's hot. Seattle seven and one on the road. Granted, they have beaten boom very bad teams. Of seven and one on the road. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I I don't know what to say. I'm taking Russell Wilson over some stupid ginger. F quarterback who's, Gingers. who's overrated they are Ugh. completely banged up they're missing two offensive linemen how are many people on defense do they even have a receiver to throw the ball to no no it's the problem boston scott the f anybody Miles with the sanders name, is banged anybody up with the name boston is zach Ertz banged up banged up dallas got his name is dallas he'll choke them <laughs> seattle minus two animal i'm with you and what i think we should do now that we've wrapped up wild car weekend I think we should give our Super Bowl picks. Oh, like who are the two teams? Two teams. All right, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Last week, you did hear me say that the Packers were going in the Super Bowl. Well, I had a bad week last week. <laughs> had a bad, bad week last week. And just pretend that never happened because they are not going to the Super Bowl. No, they, they suck. They are not. They are fans. I call them too, by the way. You fans. know who is, though? I think you have the same pick I do. The Saints mm -hmm. and the Chiefs. It's simple. I mean, at this point, you want to say the Patriots, sure. They, no, they're going to say the Ravens. No. Which is fair. Not yet. It's fair. Not but yet. I think, I think it's the Chiefs' year. Yep. I do. Yep. I think they make it. I think they're flying under the radar. Their defense is humming. 
They look good for once in their life. Steve Spagnuolo knows how to coach championship defense. We know that. So, so get your parlays in now. Get those yeah, parlays in. Get, get the matchup in. Yep. Chiefs versus Saints. That's, that's got to give you great odds. It's like plus 600, I think. Beautiful. Lay two bills on it. Yeah, two bills. Two, two bills. thousand. Three bills. Two hundred. Anyway, 000. that's Wild Card Weekend. That's the show. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Bagels and Locks. Have a great, have a great, have a great day. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. They didn't say Happy New Year. It's 2020s. It's new decade. Bye. Bagels and locks.